Hi guys, bargain store project number 15, I think. Um, spotted this in my local pound shop. Um, I'd seen it before and never actually looked at it. And then took a bit more time and noticed what it was. I thought it was just a bracket to lift your notebook off the table, but it's actually a fan. So if we um, open it up and have a look, it's got a rather nifty looking little motor in there, a DC fan, DC 5 volts, 1 watt, notebook cooler, with a fan blade on it, I'll just see if I can get some power into it. There we go, pretty little blue LED light and a fan blade. Doesn't feel like there's very much torque there. But it's blowing a bit of air through. So I thought I might just as well have another go at one, doing one of those hovercrafts. Right, the first bit's quite simple, it's just got a couple of screws in it. Undo them. Get rid of that. And there we are, our little fan. I've got the other half of that plastic container I used last time. I'm going to have to trim it a bit because obviously I don't want those slots in it. So I have to trim it along the line there, make it a little bit smaller. Stick that on top somewhere. Cut a hole in it, obviously. See if we can run it with a couple of um, button cells. A couple of those CR2032s, I think they are. They're 3 volts each, so that will give us 6 volts and see if that's enough just to lift it off the ground. Okay, I've carefully cut the edge off it. So now we've got a flat tray. Need to cut a hole in it. Right, I've cut a hole in it. So we should be able to Mount it in there. Have to make a couple of slots to put the button cells in. And we probably want to put a skirt on the bottom like I did on the last one to help it make a good seal. Right, just marked out plastic bag for the um, skirt. So again I'll cut round inside, about an inch inside. And hopefully that will help keep some of the air inside. And I'll use this uh, sticky stuff again. dry for a bit then I'll trim round the outside. Right, I've just used a couple of offcuts of the polystyrene tray to make a little mountain for the two button cells. What I'll do is I'll put a couple of metal contacts squeezed into the polystyrene either side to make the contact. I'll just hot glue that about there somewhere. 
OK, I've glued the motor in place. I've put a couple of little bits of metal strip into my slots so that I can make contact with the button cells. A little bit of soldering now just to solder the wires in place. And then we'll try it out. Well that was a fairly classic mistake to make. <laughs> I got the fan upside down. It's sucking air in at the bottom and blowing it out the top. I'm not quite sure how I managed to do that. But uh, we'll have to do a little modification. Right then, we're all up together. Um, motor in place the right way up this time. Um, slot for the two button cells. But exactly the same as with the previous hovercraft, there's just not enough power there. If I put these two in and leave it running, give it a few seconds to build up speed, but it's just not moving. If I use the wire to try and push it, it's not moving at all. So if I give it a bit of extra power, take them out again, and feed it from an external power supply, I now have lift. So I'm actually manoeuvring it by pushing it with this wire because I've got no forwards or backwards thrust on it, it's just lift. But hopefully you can see that power off, no movement, power on, and we've got movement. So, same problem as the previous um, hovercraft, can't get enough power out of the motor using the button cells. I'm using 9 volt batteries here, these are both pretty well flat so I've actually got them joined together. So technically that's 18 volts but there's not much current coming out of them. I seem to have run out of um, 9 volt batteries at the moment. So, um, success and failure at the same time. Can't get it to run with just a couple of button cells. I suppose I could try putting, say, four of these together, um, giving us 12 volts or something. But there's just not enough power there. If I give it a good, back, a good um, power supply, then we are off the ground. And we got a pretty LED this time. Power off. Got to push it quite hard to get it to move. Power on. And there we go. So what's the uh, summary? Uh, Poundland um, notebook cooler. Took the fan out of it. I do rather like the look of that. That could probably be useful for something else entirely. Um, stuck it into my polystyrene tray. Tried to run it from a couple of button cells, two 3 volt button cells to give it 6 volts. Not enough power going through there to lift it off the ground. Give it some extra power with a couple of pretty flat 9 volt batteries and we're off the ground. So there we go. Bargain store project number 15 complete. Just one final thing before I give up entirely. Looking through my pack of cheap button cells, which again come from a pound store, there's a selection of button cells in there, and I notice I've actually got CR2016s, which are very thin 3 volt batteries. I've got four of them, so if I stick four together, We 
just briefly, because <laughs> it's drained the power from them almost immediately, but we just briefly had lift off. So maybe if I put some a wider box in there and put four of the like 2032s, that's it, CR2032s, which are much bigger. You can see the power's gone completely now, the LED's dying as we talk. But um, so they obviously those 2016s. You won't be able to see that. 2016s. Um, that gave us very briefly 12 volts, but with no current at all. So maybe if I made a wider box, put some fresh 2032s in there, but put four of them in to give us 12 volts, that might be enough to drive it. Okay, same as with the previous project, if I connect it to my 9 volt DC main supply and switch that on, and we've got plenty of lift. So it's all a matter of power, isn't, it? isn't life like that? Give it enough power and away we go. Just thinking about it, I think there's quite a few people on YouTube who would be interested in these little motors. They do look interesting. And being as I got them from one of my pound shops, I think at that price, I think people might be quite interested. I'll put a couple of close-up shots after this. <laughs> 